Welcome! In this video, I will tell you a bit more about the Bachelor of Computer Science and Engineering at Delft University of Technology. My name is Odette Scharenborg. After watching this video, you will have a better understanding of what this bachelor entails. I will tell you about the topics that we cover in our bachelors, what courses to expect, our admission requirements, and the differences between computer science and engineering at the university level versus the college level. First, why computer science and engineering? Computer science and engineering is everywhere. Think about the laptop or smartphone you are using to watch this video. Applications that allow you to search for new music, videos, etc. Smart speakers that react to, to voice commands. Entering and leaving train stations. And applications in healthcare that help doctors to, to decide whether a patient has a certain disease or not. Now, let's have a look at our study program. Our study program is taught in English. It consists of 60 ECTS per year. The average study load is 40 hours a week. The curriculum consists of a combination of lectures and projects. The lectures will provide you with theoretical knowledge, primarily knowledge about mathematics, physics, and computer science, but also a wide range of other topics. The topics are meant to support the projects are meant to support the theoretical knowledge and importantly allow you to apply the theoretical knowledge directly to build applications. Our bachelor's consists of three years. In the first year, you need to obtain 45 of the 60 ECTS in order to continue in the second year. This is called the binding recommendation. I will explain what you can expect in the first year in the next slide. The second year consists of compulsory courses and electives. You can choose courses from three different blocks. The first block is multimedia. This variant block teaches you how you re can represent, process, and analyze multimedia. For example, recognizing songs from small audio fragments, recognizing and reading number plates, and the automa automatic recognition of speech. The systems variant teaches you more about hardware as well as optimizing software for hardware systems. During the project in this elective variant, you will make a robot which navigates a maze with a smartphone, cam smartphone camera. The data variant teaches you how a computer can deal with large quantities of data efficiently, how you can collect data intelligently, and how you can extract useful patterns from the data. Your third year consists of a minor in which you can acquire more in-depth knowledge about a specific topic or choose a different topic to broaden your view. And it finishes with a bachelor thesis project. So our curriculum has many opportunities to learn to apply the knowledge that you acquire in the courses. So in the first year, there's the object-oriented programming project, which follows the object-oriented programming course. The second year ends with the software project. Moreover, several courses have labs and practicals, for instance, machine learning in the second year and software engineering methods. The third and final year of your bachelor ends with the bachelor thesis project. If you continue with your master's, you will also have a final master thesis project at the end of your fifth year. In addition to the computer science and engineering curriculum, there are also the TU Delft Dream Teams, which are managed entirely by students on a diverse set of topics. And there are courses and opportunities for entrepreneurship. Now, let's have a closer look at the first year. So each year consists of four periods of 10 weeks each. In week five, you may expect a midterm exam. In week 10, you will have the final exam. So in your first year, you will have three courses per period. Now, throughout our curriculum, we have strands of courses on a specific topic, as indicated with the color coding on the slide. For instance, in the first year, you will have three mathematic courses indicated in dark blue. You, have, you will have courses on logic and algorithms indicated in the darker green. And also courses on software and programming, for instance, which includes the object-oriented programming project as a separate course, indicated in the lighter blue. It is important to note that we do not expect you to be able to program when you join us in your first year. 
We have repair programming courses, after which you will have a flying start in our bachelors. Now, once you've finished with your bachelors, you can continue with a master's. The computer science and engineering program at CU Delft offers three masters. The first master is the computer science master, which has three tracks. The first track is software technology, which focuses on information processing systems in the context of economies of industrialized countries. Think about administrative and logistic operations within commercial uh, production and business and public administration. In the data science and technology track, you will learn how to engineer and develop systems capable of processing massive data sets and extracting information, important information from these data sets. The artificial intelligence technology track covers the algorithmic foundations of artificial intelligence systems, addressing topics in machine learning and intelligent algorithms, but also foundational topics in system and software engineering and data management. Our second master's is Embedded Systems, which focuses on the design methodology of hardware and software user environments. It covers a wide spectrum of topics, ranging from integrated circuit design, computer architecture, communication networks, and real-time operation systems to software engineering and formal methods for embedded applications. Our third master's is Computer Engineering. This master's program provides you with the skills that are needed to design, develop, and use software and hardware for computer systems. The courses in this program address the three different aspects of computer engineering, software design, hardware design, and the integration of the two. So what are the admission requirements to study computer science and engineering at CU Delft? Our bachelor's has a numerous fixes. We therefore implemented a selection procedure. In order to study with us, you need to have had Mathematics B at high school. We strongly recommend that you had a grade of 10, 7 out of 10 or higher, because especially your first year is mathematics heavy. All admission requirements, including information about the selection procedure, can be found on the Bachelor of Computer Science and Engineering web pages. A fair number of the students who start in our first year do not manage to obtain the required number of 45 ECTS or more during their first year. You might want to know who do succeed. Well, we found that students who are highly motivated, who have a lot of perseverance, who are prepared to work hard, meaning that they are willing to work for 40 hours a week on average, who have a high affinity with mathematics, and who are able to think in an abstract way tend to succeed. So this brings me to the final point we would like to raise. You might have decided to study computer science engineering, but might be wondering whether you want to go to university or college, or HBO as we call it in the Netherlands. There are some important differences between studying computer science engineering at the university versus college level. At TU Delft, you will learn to solve tomorrow's challenges with novel techniques. However, in order to be able to do that, you first need to learn a lot about the theories. You will ask yourself questions such as, why do we do this in this manner? Can I do this in a better way? And can I prove that my current approach is optimal? Therefore, mathematical foundations are important. At a college, you will primarily use existing knowledge and work according to recipes and procedures. The mathematics is hidden behind tables, formulas, and methods. To give an example of the difference, a college is more practical and will focus more on teaching you different and often used programming languages. At CU Delft, you will learn the basic principles underlying programming languages. This allows you to not only learn new programming languages faster in the future, but also allows you to maybe also develop your own programming language in the future. Moreover, at CU Delft, we specifically encourage students to think about ethical and societal implications of their application systems. In short, do you like programming and want to continue doing that? College is the place to be for you. Do you want more? Then a university such as TU Delft is the right place for you. Thank you for watching. I hope that I have been able to give you a good view of our Computer Science and Engineering Bachelor Program. Please find more information about our Bachelor's Program at the URL shown on the slide.